Hello and welcome, my name is Charlie Roscoe and a couple of years ago now I made a video about uh, using the 6-axis motion controls on the PlayStation 4 controller uh, instead of the thumbstick. So if you're not sure what the motion controls are, essentially you can hold your controller like a steering wheel. Um, it doesn't have to be upright, it can also be flat. Uh, but you basically steer the car like this and it actually gives you a lot of accuracy. It gives you a lot of um, feel over the car, much more like a steering wheel um, than the little thumb trigger is itself and obviously a lot of people get used to that and that's fine um, but the motion controls are a great way and the feedback basically that that I received I obviously have a wheel so the wheels what I've used um, but the feedback I got from a lot of people is once you get used to it once you get the hang of it it is much better than the thumbstick itself uh, so what I thought I would check out today is um, whether or not it works on the PlayStation 5 controller so Gran Turismo Sport is obviously available now on the PlayStation 5 cross compatible and it just works um, it's essentially running the PS4 game and uh, yeah we're gonna have a bit of a look to see if it's possible to use the motion controls on a PS5 controller uh, and also whether or not we think it's coming in Gran Turismo 7 uh, so without further ado let's get into it so the one thing I forgot to show uh, last time I made the video or the first time I made the video was how to turn six action now the one thing I forgot to show in the original video I made is how to turn on six axis motion controls and uh, it prompted me to have to make a follow up video because I got a lot of questions saying that's great but how do you turn it on? So this time rather than just showing you what the racing's like with it uh, and testing it, I'm also going to show you how to turn it on if in fact I can turn it on if it works with the PlayStation 5 controller. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the top left hand corner into the menu there and we go down to options. Once you're in the options use the R1 uh, to go across to the controllers. You want to go down to wireless controller 1, head into that and up the top left there it shows you where the stick is uh, it says left stick, we can move it across to either the directional buttons, so if, you've, uh, if anyone still uses them, you've probably figured this out. On the right hand side is the motion sensor function. Uh, now presumably it still works, it's showing a picture of a PlayStation 4 controller, not the PS5. So let's turn it on and let's go and see if we uh, can use it. Right, so to test it out, I have loaded up um, the Suzuka track in the Mercedes Formula One car. So I'm not exactly, I've done absolutely no practice here whatsoever, by the way. Um, so we're going to go out and test it, see how the car runs. I'm going to be awful, but just remember, if you get used to this, you will be better, will be better than me. I have no doubt at all. So let's load it up now. I've gone for a full uh, course as well. Uh, now, if you do enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it works. I can't remember what I set the gear selection to, but you can clearly see I'm obviously, I would probably hold it down here if I was doing it myself, and I'm trying to demonstrate to you, because the car feels like it's geared a little short, but. And I never said I'd be good. But see how I'm saving that? That's a perfect demonstration. I'm glad I did that. You can see how I am saving it so uh, now if you're wondering about these triggers the haptic feedback and you're wondering if they work they do not it feels very much the same now I'm just awful at this because I'm used to racing on a steering wheel but you can pretty clearly see as I turn the controller it is turning the steering wheel so the answer to the question up in <laughs> up in the title yes you can use uh, the six axis motion controls on a PlayStation 5 controller. That's quite enough of that. I can't, but I'm sure you can. Right, and getting back to the question I asked at the top, uh, additionally to the motion controls, will Gran Turismo 7 have access to that? Well, the answer is, from what I can see from a bit of Google searching, we don't know. The only thing they've confirmed is that they will be utilizing the power of this controller, including haptic feedback on the two triggers. Um, so that's good, but they haven't mentioned by name the motion controls, but I've just proven to you that it works on Gran Turismo Sport. Quite honestly, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't include it in GT7. That would be removing a feature that technically they can, like the hardware is capable of doing and their previous games are capable of doing. So if I had to hazard a guess, and it is just a guess because 
I'm not sure. If you do know, by the way, if you've seen a press release or something that mentions motion controls by name, please do leave it in the comment section below and I'll pin it if uh, if you leave a source that I can trace back. But um, yeah, hopefully that's that, that answers your question. I think it will be in there. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, anyway, nice and short video. I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you've got something out of it. If you don't have a steering wheel, I really do recommend trying the motion controls. It's a wonderful way to drive. You get a lot of control. It'll take you a couple of minutes to get used to it, of course, but once you do, um, I don't think you'll go back. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you next time. But for now, it's goodbye.